All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to talk a little bit more about ST Manager, which is the text to speech bot that allows you, if you have trouble using your microphone to communicate in voice chat, ST Manager will allow you to convert whatever you type into more advanced text to speech, more advanced than you would get from just out of the box text to speech features that come with Discord. So today we're gonna to take a look at some of the more advanced stuff that the bot can do, like translations and customizing which voices you wanna use. Um, the most notable thing is if you're not familiar with this bot, literally all you have to do is jump into a channel, type in slash say, and then it can say things like, Hello everyone. I just got back from work. What's everyone doing tonight? Playing anything cool? And so you can just have that communicate for you which is really handy because, you know, when you're in a, a voice call and you're playing a game or doing something else, you don't necessarily always notice the written messages from other members of your server who otherwise can't communicate with you on voice. So this is a great way to then talk to people. So we can do a couple other advanced things. One of them, especially if you're in a multilingual server, it can actually translate different messages from one language to another. And I actually have some sample Spanish sentences on my other monitor. So I can just type in slash translate and I can translate this Spanish to pretty much any other language that I want here in this menu. So I can do like English. So I can translate that to English. I can also translate this to Portuguese if I want. So here in this list is Portuguese. And it does a lot of popular languages. Unfortunately, it doesn't do all of them, but it does a large volume of them, uh, larger than most bots will do at all. Unless you're going with like a translation specific bot, but those ones are obviously specializing specifically in translating. But the other thing that you can do is you can adjust the settings to pretty much any one of the different types of voice systems that you can choose from and pick a different voice to something that you're more comfortable with. And as you can see, this bot comes with a number of different systems from a number of different companies that allow you to use their different text-to-speech technology, everything from like the basic Microsoft one to the more advanced stuff from Amazon, although you will have to have premium of this bot to use the more fancy ones. But we'll check out what Amazon Polly can do. So if I type in slash settings, Amazon Polly, I can select a voice from this particular system and they've got quite a few and they're split up into three separate sections and there's a lot of them. So you're definitely gonna have some type of voice that you feel represents you a little bit better than just the default. And I believe the default is like Lisa here at the top of the list here. So if I select Lisa and I have Amazon Polly say, I can say, howdy everyone, I'm Amazon Polly, using the Lisa voice. Howdy everyone, I'm Amazon Polly using the Lisa voice. So that one actually I don't think is the default, but you can hear it has a different accent to it than you might have from another one of the voices. And I can just click on this blue button from the previous time I entered the settings. And I can be like, okay, well, I, I didn't really want to use Lisa. What if I used, um, I don't know, Ivy? What does Ivy sound like? So Amazon Polly say. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amazon Polly. Currently, I'm using my Ivy voice to say hello to you. All right. So that one sounds like a younger voice with a less intense accent, more of kind of like the middle of the road. English accent that you might expect from somebody who lives in like the Midwest of America. We can also check out uh, down here, there is Pedro and Pedro is actually a male voice. So we can have Amazon Polly say, Hello, my name is Pedro. How are you? So that's a brief look at the different voices that you can change for Amazon Polly and a lot of these other systems. Um, like if I looked at the settings for fake you, which allows you to impersonate different celebrities, 
you can actually go through here and you can select from like Will Smith, Wednesday Adams. They've got Mr. Beast is in here. They've also got Ruby Rose, that woman who got released from prison recently, who was really popular. And you can even do Scooby Doo. Um, which other ones do we have in here? Settings for Microsoft are also in here. So we can check out the different voices that Microsoft has. Microsoft also has the ability to set like what your default language is going to be American English, Australian English, German, Dutch, or several others. I'm going to go with American English and you can set the voice that you use between David, Mark or Zyra. So what does Zyra sound like? Um, Hello, I'm Zira. Nice to meet everyone. And so some of these are kind of like the more old school text to speech voices that literally sound like a robot somewhere is synthesizing it from scratch. So it sounds a lot less natural, but if you use other ones like Amazon Polly or 11 labs, you'll definitely get a nice natural sounding voice and you can customize a lot of these. However you want, you can set a default provider for the whole server for a channel or just for individual users. And if you go over here and set a whitelist, you can actually enable and disable which members of your server are allowed to use the bot just in case someone on your server is abusing that system and you don't want them to, because it can be annoying if somebody tries to use it to do something either very loud and obnoxious because you can always do funny sound effects using these bots or something maybe a little bit offensive. It just depends, but if you need to moderate that, you have those tools as well with the whitelist. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at some of the more advanced features of ST Manager. Check them out for yourselves. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.